A linguist might tell you that there are only four truly irregular verbs in Russian. And you might be forgiven for thinking that's some sort of cruel joke, given the hard work that you've been putting into learning just the regular ones. But it's true that there are four verbs that really do violate the patterns we expect and just need to be memorized. Let's look at one of the most important of these. Хотеть, to want. As with all verbs, we know we can't safely predict the present tense stem from the infinitive. So let's start with the singular forms. Я хочу. Ты хочешь. Он или она хочет. Well, so far so good. There's end stress in the я form, but stress on the stem in the ты and он, она forms. We've seen that pattern before. Now let's look at the plural. Мы хотим. Вы хотите? Они хотят. These last three forms look consistent with each other, but when you take them all together, you might be wondering which conjugation is хотеть. Is it ye, your conjugation, first conjugation, or is it the e conjugation? Well, it's a trick question. It's both conjugations in a way. In the singular, we've got the ye conjugation endings, yesh and yet. And in the plural, we've got the e conjugation endings, im, ite, yet. That is pretty strange, and it's one reason that this is considered a truly irregular verb. Now, do you notice one other difference between the singular forms on one hand and the plural on the other? They have slightly different stems. The singular stem is хоч, and the plural stem is хот, with a th. And that's also pretty strange to have different stems for the singular and the plural. The good news is that the past tense is completely regular. As expected, just remove te mekiznak from the infinitive and add the normal past tense endings. On хотел, она хотела, оно хотело, они хотели. And a quick note on usage. You can use хотеть very much like to want in English. You might want to do something using the infinitive for the second verb. Они хотят учиться в России. Я не хочу работать. Or you might want something, in which case the thing you want is the direct object, so it'll be in the accusative case. Я хочу квартиру в Москве. Мы хотим кофе. Summing up. Хотеть, to want, is one of just four truly irregular verbs in Russian. It's unusual in that the singular and plural forms in the present tense look quite different. The singular has the stem хоч and ye conjugation endings. Хочу, хочешь, хочет. But the plural has the stem хот and e conjugation endings. Хотим, хотите, хотят. But at least the past tense is regular. Он хотел, она хотела, они хотели.